Hey Pink Gang! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing my second quarter savings update. So, I have here this notebook that I got as a graduation gift. And I made it like my reference notebook or something like that. So that every quarter, I can see how much I saved from the first quarter up to the fourth quarter of the year. So here I placed my first quarter data that I have made last time. That was in January to March of 2023. So I saved up a total of 67,454 pesos for the first three months of the year. So today, I am going to compute my savings from all of my binders and let's see how much I save for the second quarter so I hope it's bigger than 67,000 pesos but it's okay if it's less than 67,000 pesos because I have expenses now especially that we are building our future cafe so some of our savings we already spent that for the construction work or the materials that we needed to buy for our future business so now let me start with my savings update and i am going to start with my cash wallet which is my new a7 pink binder right here and let me count how much i have left in this wallet for fun money i have here 100 pesos so i'm going to write it here and we are going to compute that. And next is gas. I have nothing in gas. Next is eating out. I haven't spent this one. So this is 200 pesos. Next is transportation fare. I have 20 pesos in here. And for groceries, I have 100. There. There. So I'm done with my cash wallet and I'm going to compute the total for my cash wallet. I have 100 plus 200 plus 20 plus 100. So I have 420 pesos inside my cash wallet. So next is our couple binder. I'll just refer to the check marks that I have placed here. We have 100 pesos for food dates. Next is our luxury savings. We have 250. And our anniversary challenge, we have 200. And last for our travel savings challenge, we have 500. So... The total of this one is 100 plus 250 plus 200 plus 500. That's 1,050 pesos. So far, so good. I haven't spent some of the money that I have budgeted last time. So that was in my last upload. Next is for my bank savings i currently have 1000 2000 3000 4000 500 5500 6500 7000 pesos so i added some money in my bank account this week so that's why it's 7000 pesos now Next is my boyfriend's savings. In his bank account, he has 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 45,000 pesos. 45,000. Next is my birthday fund. I have... 1,000 pesos here. Next is 
for our Gravis scooter, we have 2,000 pesos in here. And for emergency, 400. So I changed some of the denominations in here of CAM. I mean, that's 400. For Happy Mail and credit card and for my parents' Ziploc, all of them are zero. So, let me compute for the total. We have 7,000 plus 45,000 plus 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 400. That's 55,400 pesos. As you can see in my first quarter savings update, my boyfriend's savings is not included in my own savings. So I will deduct this one once I have computed for the total of all of my binders. And I'm going to see how much I saved on my own excluding the savings of my boyfriend next is our sagrada cafe binder some of the envelopes here they don't have cash for now for repairs i can't remember how much i placed in here i have 150 250 350 450 550 500 pesos 500 For pantry, we have 150. We don't have anything for the rest of the Ziplocs, but I have something in body budget. This one is 100 pesos. Okay, I'm done with this one. And the total of that one is 500 plus 150 plus 100. It's 750 pesos for our Sagrada Cafe binder. So next is my white binder, which is my long-term savings binder. Let's see how much I have in here for health. I have 100, 200, 350, 400 pesos. So by the way guys, I already updated our Facebook page for Sagrada Cafe. I would really appreciate it if you would like and follow our Facebook page before we open our coffee shop. So, you can find the link in the description box below. And, yeah. We will just announce the soft opening and the grand opening day soon. Very soon, guys. For vacation, I have 200, 300, 400, 550, 650, 750, 750, 950, 1,000 pesos. Next is Christmas. I have here 100, 250, 300 pesos. And the rest of the Ziplocs we have here for house 250. I won't take out the cash anymore because the denominations are so small today. Only have 250 in appliances. For wedding and retirement, that's 200 pesos each. Because I haven't stuffed any cash in here. So let me compute for my long-term savings binder. I have 400 plus 1,000 plus 300. Plus 250, plus 250, plus 200, plus 200, and that is 2,600 pesos. Okay, down to my last binder, which is my savings challenges. And yeah, I already placed here the total amount that I have in my 100 envelopes challenge. 
which is 1,200 pesos. So the shaded parts are here. And I double-checked my 100 envelopes basket. So yeah, for my 20 peso savings challenge, I have 2468. That's 80. For my 50 pesos, I have 100. And for 100 pesos, I have 100. For my roll the dice challenge, I have 550. 70 90 610 next is my tablet fund and it's very thick guys i currently have 500 1000 500 2000 200 400 600 700 800 900 3000 one hundred, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four thousand, fifty, one, fifty, two, fifty, three, fifty, four, fifty, five, fifty. That's four thousand five hundred fifty pesos. Okay. Get inside. Oh my goodness. It's very thick na kasi. I haven't changed this one into bigger bills. So it's very bulky. Next is another bulky Ziploc which is my refrigerator fund. I have here 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 in the bank. 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. 511, 512, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 13,000 pesos. So I think we can buy a refrigerator worth 17,000 pesos. Because I saw one when I went to the mall last time. Do you think a 17,000 so refrigerator would be advisable for our business like for our future cafe um since we're starting what do you think guys is it okay for me to buy that kind of refrigerator but our budget here is 24,000 pesos naman so comment down below guys what do you think so, for my 2023 pesos challenge, I have 500, 700, 920 pesos. Okay. I am done counting all of my savings in my binders. And yeah, the total of my savings challenge is binder. I have 1,200 plus 80. Plus 100, plus 100, plus 610, plus 4,550, plus 13,000, plus 920. That's 20,560. Okay, I am done. Oh my gosh. How much would it be? I'll just put all the total numbers of my binders here in my breakdown. For my cash wallet, I have 420. For our couple binder, we have 1,050 pesos. For my sinking funds, we have 55,400 pesos. For Sagrada Cafe, that's 750. For my long-term savings, 2,600. And for my savings challenges, 20,560. So, the long wait is over. What's the total of my second quarter savings? That's 420 plus 1,050 plus 55,400 plus 750 plus 2,600 plus 20,560 pesos. And the total of that one is, can you see my calculator? 80,780 pesos. Oh my gosh, guys. 
80,780 pesos. So that's almost 100,000 guys. So I think since the total is very big, I am going to deduct my boyfriend's savings and let's see how much I saved on my own. So 80,780 pesos minus my boyfriend's savings of 45,000 pesos. So, for my own savings, I have 35,780 pesos and my boyfriend has 45,000 pesos of savings. So, that is very big, guys. Oh my gosh. So, 80,780 minus 67,454. So, for an additional three months, which is from... April, May, until June of 2023, we managed to save an additional 13,326 pesos. So that's so amazing, guys. I can't believe we managed to save this big for the second quarter. So yeah, I am very happy for the result. I managed to save this kind of money because I have a small business. And I was also receiving allowance from my parents since I just graduated in the month of June 2023. So it is really possible that I will save up because I am not spending anything for bills or whatnot. I currently live with my parents so I'm not paying for rent or any kinds of expenses. Just my own expenses and my own wants and needs. So I hope this savings update will motivate you guys and don't be discouraged if your savings is not that high because everyone is different. You have your own style of saving. I have my own style of saving. Just trust the process and be disciplined in your finances. I bet you will save up a lot of money because of your own determination and discipline in handling your finances so yeah that would be all for today guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you like this video honestly guys it was really hard to save up because i only am a low income small business owner once again thank you so much for watching this video if you like this one just comment down below and share this video so that we may inspire a lot of people to try the cash envelope system because for me it's very effective guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye